Chief Aerospace and Defence Analyst joins us now. Were, were you expecting a bigger bounce uh, in the subsector today? Um, and thank you for having me. It's tough because the 8% decline we saw on Friday was essentially half the decline the airline stocks saw during Delta, which was about 20%. And the TSA numbers we saw domestically moved down were about 9%. So the volatile reaction on Friday was essentially a one-day move that we saw throughout. It was half of what we saw for Delta. So we were expecting a bit of a bounce, but I think people are, um, you know, getting exhausted of the variants. Here's a depressing stat for us. It took 225 days for both the Alpha and Delta variant to peak in terms of case count numbers. And of course, that impacted uh, share prices, but not so much overall air traffic, believe it or not. Are you and uh, other sort of uh, airline executives that, that you're in touch with encouraged by the focused nature of, of the restrictions, the travel restrictions that have been placed, mainly just South Africa? Uh, and other southern African countries or disappointed by how quickly those those restrictions are put in place? I mean, it's a bit disappointing. So here's a stat. In Q3, uh, you know, to put it in context, international traffic is about 45 percent of airline revenues, give or take. That's an average number when we look at the overall major carriers in the U.S. And transatlantic travel um, you know, or sorry, overall international was about uh, 35% of 2019 levels in Q3. That stat was expected to be 65% by the end of Q4. And one of the biggest areas of pickup was transatlantic, as you saw the November 8th removal of restrictions. So as those get put into place, uh, you know, we're seeing that in UK as an example, one day of self-isolation PCR tests on day two. That could cut those numbers uh, quite drastically as that's the biggest improvement airlines are waiting for in addition to the corporate travel recovery. So it's transatlantic really improving in that corridor of international traffic improving in Europe. And this might hamper that as we see restrictions being put back into place. Yeah, it's really hard to pick stocks within the group, Sheila. Do you go for the domestic players that, that are more exposed like a Southwest to leisure travel, which is really what's working now and not being restricted? Or do you look ahead to those international restrictions being lifted and pick the airlines that have been being down, even with these, these new threats, these new variants. Yeah, we cover 40 stocks across airlines, aerospace, and defense. And I will tell you, the landscape is very tough across the board. On the airline sector, everybody is rotating domestically um, because domestic travel is improving, uh, has improved essentially to 2019 levels, and it's all about a corporate pickup. So you would be exposed to stocks like uh, uh, Love over there, uh, Southwest, and then also uh, Delta as a quality name um, that hasn't over-promised on the transatlantic recovery. For example, United has talked about 2022 levels being 10 percent above 2019 levels. So um, some rotation into quality on Delta. And of course, this leaves the aerospace manufacturers like Boeing and Limbo because you might have a pullback on um, you know, as these case counts continues and as variants continue for several, several months, um, that, of course, doesn't help order volumes and the airspace recovery.